Hello everyone and welcome back to another What's For Dinner video or welcome if you are new. My name is Veronica and in today's video I have some very simple and easy recipes and meal ideas for you and your family. One of them you absolutely don't want to miss. It's amazing. Let's get to cooking. This night for dinner I fixed tuna noodle casserole. The first thing that I done was melt two tablespoons of butter in my skillet. When my butter was melted, I then added in half of a diced up sweet onion, one and a half teaspoons of minced garlic, and one stick of diced celery. I then let those ingredients cook for a few minutes just until my onion and my celery were softened. On the other side of my stove, I also started cooking my egg noodles. I cooked three cups of dry egg noodles according to the package directions. When my onion and celery were softened, I then added in two five ounce cans of drained solid white albacore tuna and water. I then added some salt and pepper to taste. A 10.5 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup. One and a half cups of half and half. A half of a cup of sour cream at room temperature. This was our first time trying this recipe and we liked it better than we thought we would. It turned out really good. Once I got all of those ingredients added, I just stirred everything up to make sure everything was well combined. During the last two minutes of my egg noodle cook time, I added in two teaspoons of better than bouillon. I then returned back to my creamy sauce and I added a little over a half of a cup of finely shredded mild cheddar cheese. And then I stirred all of those ingredients together until it was nice and smooth. When my egg noodles were done, I drained the water and set them to the side. I then added one cup of frozen peas into my creamy sauce. I then added in my egg noodles and gave that a good stir. I then poured all of those ingredients into a large baking dish. I topped my casserole with about a cup of finely shredded Parmesan cheese. And then I covered my baking dish with some aluminum foil and I stuck it in the oven that I had preheated to 400 degrees and I baked it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I mixed together a sleeve of crushed Toll House crackers and two tablespoons of melted butter. I then removed the cover from my baking dish and I sprinkled my topping on top of my casserole. Once I got all of my topping added, I stuck it back in the oven for an additional seven minutes. And this is what it looks like whenever it comes out of the oven. And here is my bowl of my tuna noodle casserole. This night for dinner, I fixed creamy Swiss chicken. I started off by cutting four chicken breasts in half. My family absolutely loves this chicken. I cannot tell you how good this chicken is. It's probably my favorite chicken recipe that I have ever fixed. The creamy sauce that I will show you how to make in a minute is beyond delicious. After I get my chicken breast cut in half, I then pat them dry with some paper towels and then I place them on a large sheet pan. If you have a smaller family, you can cut this recipe in half and instead of using a large sheet pan, you can use a large baking dish if you like. After I got my chicken patted dry and added all of those to my sheet pan, I then started on my delicious creamy sauce. I started off by adding one cup of sour cream into a large bowl. I then added in one cup of mayonnaise, a third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of garlic powder. I then mixed all of those ingredients together until everything was thoroughly combined. 
I returned back to my chicken breast and I added one slice of Swiss cheese on top of each chicken breast. I then added all of my creamy mixture on top of my chicken and after I got it all added I just used my spoon and made sure my chicken was covered in that. That is probably my favorite part of this recipe. That creamy sauce is so good. To say that I highly recommend this recipe is an understatement. It's that good. You all definitely should try it, especially if you love chicken. And this is so easy to make. After I got my creamy sauce added, I then sprinkled some more grated Parmesan cheese on top, and then I placed it in the oven that I had preheated to 375 degrees, and I baked it for one hour, or you can bake it until your chicken reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees. And this is what the chicken looks like whenever it comes out of the oven. I also fixed some brown and served dinner rolls and some sweet potato casserole to have as a side. I will be sharing my sweet potato casserole recipe in an upcoming special video for Thanksgiving. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. The next couple of nights for dinner, we decided to cook out on our charcoal grill. It had warmed up for a couple of days. It was in the lower 70s, so we decided to take full advantage of that before it got really cold outside. So one night we decided to grill out hot dogs and we had some chips as a side. And the next night we decided to do hamburgers and I also fixed some Nathan's onion rings to have as a side. And both nights, both of the meals were delicious. We love cooking out on our charcoal grill especially hamburgers. Hamburgers are so good on a charcoal grill. That's it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day.